What's up, what's up leaders? Today started early. It's uh, 4.45 a.m. Up and at them, right? Vlog. Meet the Nevada FBLA State Officers. What's up, what's up, oh, yeah. What's up, what's up, leaders? Lord, Hi, hello, FBLA. Hi, hello. Hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, All right, here's the skinny. Had to wake up super early because we had to wait for when the finalists were gonna be posted. All the finalists from all the events, almost all the events. Um, and check out who's from our state. So the state officer team, we're scanning through all the lists of the crashed website and you know, it's so much energy and all that good stuff, but finding who the finalists were from the state of Nevada. So they give them shout outs, give them shout outs, uh, take them a good luck card, like all that good stuff. And when you have to wake up super early and do things like that, you come to IHOP after. Took a little nap, answered some emails, headed back to the convention center. It's finals, so that's exciting. Gotta go help out with another event. Definitely not gonna take as long as it did yesterday. <laughs> uh, but man, oh man, it's hot. Not even gonna wear the suit coat. It's in the bag. I'll put it on when we get to the convention center. of helping out with competitions. All right, that's a wrap from helping out the finals of competition. Way more low key, way easier. <laughs> because this time I only was running one event instead of five. So imagine that. But anyway, it's just awesome. Awesome to see uh, the scores were tight, which is good. I, th I think that's good for finals. Check this out. Look who I just walked up. That sign says live zebra inside. What the heck? Dang. I don't see a zebra. The hard thing about helping with these competitive events is that I have to get here like before the crowd of students gets here. And then I'm in there only meeting with like a select few of students. And then after, the place is a ghost town. So how am I supposed to talk to the cool students that are here? I can't, because now they're all doing fun stuff. Like at SeaWorld. I can't go to SeaWorld, what the heck? So since the place is a ghost town, I guess the least I could do is just show you this cool convention center, because it is pretty cool. It's just empty. I've met a lot of people, more than I would have imagined, that are like nervous about escalators. Like, like way nervous. <laughs> if this is you, comment that you get nervous around escalators. Don't worry, we're not gonna shame you. This is just research.
All right, here's the plan. Got back to the hotel, have the evening off. I'm headed down to the Riverwalk because there's apparently this really good taco shop that makes guac right by your table and it'll change your life. So let's go find it. Still getting the hang of those. Comment if you saw me walk by twice. Super good guac. Made it right there next to the table. So that was cool. Um, also was told it was like a taco place, like a Mexican taco place. Definitely not. It was a seafood and steak place, which blew my budget out the window, am I right? But it's uh, still good. So I got, you know, got some salmon, which I love seafood anyway, so I'm fine with it. Just, you know, not tacos. Yeah. <laughs> 